To discuss, uh, we're now joined by the spokesperson for Gauteng Education, that's uh, Steve Mabona. Thank you for being with us, uh, Steve. So you've just come from the school. I'm sure there are very few words to describe uh, what you saw today. Quite sad, uh, the situation that we find ourselves in as the department and this the entire education you know, system or community. Um, it's something that you really would not wish for anyone. Uh, looking at the slab, that has uh, fell, you know, on the young souls. Uh, quite a uh, sad, you know, situation that you really don't want to experience as a parent, in, as a, a teacher, you know, a, a principal and a parent, everyone in, in, in our community. Mm -hmm. So we are saddened by this uh, situation and we have conveyed our condolences to the families and uh, it's quite unfortunate that, well, some of the parents were still, uh, you know, searching or just trying to look, look uh, you know, for them because they were, there's uh, two, you know, children that were not identified at that time. Uh, so there's an update tomorrow. Where well, what do you mean? They, they were so crushed that it couldn't be identified Definitely. who they were? Definitely in the state so that, that so they the were So the parents know their children have come out of school, but they don't even know if that, if that is their kid. That, that's a horrible situation. Definitely horrible. But uh, the school community has been interacting with all the parents to say those that uh, are missing children, then they can uh, come to the school mm -hmm. so that they can be you know, debriefed. Uh, we've been following that uh, very closely, you know, working with the disaster management, MEC briefed you know, everyone. And uh, tomorrow we are going back to the school, actually. So one teenager has been identified, last, last I heard, the, the female, is that correct? Yes, yes, just one has been identified, the two has not been identified, uh, but we are hopeful that uh, parents will come forward because if you, you don't see your child coming back and uh, yeah, there's some news about Surely this gets clarified after a few hours, you see who hasn't come out, the, the parents know, or maybe the parents aren't home, why, why, why is there a delay in sort of working this out? Look. Um, we, we we don't know actually as the department and as the entire you know sector, but uh, we are hopeful that uh, probably by late you know tonight or even tomorrow there will be parents that will be coming to say uh, we are missing you know our children and then we'll identify them and try to assist them to, with the process, which is quite a sad you know uh, situation that you don't want a parent to go through that. Did the MEC meet with the one set of of parents? Where there is clarity yeah the MEC was there and the parents were because uh, we had to make sure that we give them space to grieve and uh, you don't want to uh, interact further much with them but you give them necessary you know professional assistance we you know made sure that our psychosocial unit team was there on the ground offering you know you know counseling like as you know that MEC the SGP and the principal decided that, look, we need to shut down the school so that we assist all learners with the process of uh, trauma, you know, counselling uh, before we even expect them to go back to class. And that school must then be de declared safe for, for anyone to go back into the, in the, in the classroom. So before we talk about the school, there were serious injuries. Uh, can you confirm, I think a child lost two limbs. W what, what is the state of, of those children still in hospital right now? There's uh, about 21 children that are at the hospital. Uh, quite uh, serious injuries, yes, has been confirmed. And uh, we know that in the social media and everywhere, there have been speculation that uh, uh, one child has passed on. We have not had uh, those, you know, mm. the, that, that confirmation. Fall, yeah. We have not had that confirmation. Hence, we are saying tomorrow we should be in a position to brief, you know, the media around 11 o'clock. We are going back to the school. Uh, if there's any development, we should be in a position to do that. But many of those children, they are still at hospital. They are being uh, treated. And uh, we know that there's a parent who was uh, involved in a car accident, rushing to the school. Sure. There were speculations in the social media that uh, that parent has passed on. The parent has not passed on. She's been uh, treated at the hospital. And uh, we can confirm that that parent uh, has no injured learner or children. Mm. Uh, you know, in, 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 um, we so can confirm that. just to get there. Um, no, look, the news broke and uh, each and every parent, uh, you know, must panicked, so you know, and they came to the school. So. The, her children are safe, they are at home because they are, we understand that she has two children at the school. 
Apparently your department has said that no child will not be attended to in hospitals. So does that mean you're, you're going to pay? Uh, are they in public or private hospitals right now? No, majority is, pri is private hospitals that are assisting us. And um, we have actually clarified that because we had that, uh, you know, the emergency services, they will check on whether one is a medical aid or not. Then they decide on where the, the child must go or where the patient must go. Um, and uh, we were very clear, I mean, uh, together with the school to say no child must be discriminated you know, against uh, that one does not have a medical aid. And we said everyone must be attended to. When coming to uh, finances, then the department and the school would make sure that we take mm -hmm. care of that. And that was clarified early and all children were then taken through necessary, you know, medical centers. Are you as a department ashamed? I mean, looking at, at the visuals, so you can see this walkway that fell down with these concrete slabs. Uh, there have been visuals tweeted out of uh, concrete barely plastered over. It sounds like this was a death trap. Look, we, we saw some of the attacks that uh, were you know, proportionate to the department and the MEC. Uh, understandably so, so when people are angry I mean uh, they will say anything but um, we we as the department there was no point where the, we we set on a report which said uh, there's a danger at school uh, we can confirm that uh, no such report came uh, but uh, we 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 will so then there, will there wasn't then a concern about infrastructure at this school you that's what you're saying no specifically on the area where the incident occurred uh, even the report that we saw, uh, it's something that was not really, you know, forwarded to the department to say this uh, is a time bomb or this might be happening. So uh, it's just speculation. Then we say the, you know, uh, structural engineers will then have to assist us on what is it that they see in terms of their assessment. Then they need to conduct that investigation and uh, report accordingly on what is it that uh, they can see in terms of their assessment. All right, and we'll follow that. Thank you for your time. Uh, Steve Mabona, spokesperson for the Gauteng Department of Education.